Well, guys, today we're at the launch at the drive, in fact, of the new Maruti Suzuki Swift. And with me is Parto Sani, of course, the senior executive officer for marketing and sales at Maruti Suzuki. Well, first of all, sir, congratulations on the launch of the new Ford Gen Swift. Uh, I'll just ask him a few questions about this car and the engine, which is really the heart of the car and the new change on this car. Uh, Parto Sani, if I can ask you one tough question right ahead. Uh, right now, compact SUVs really are the rage in the market. Where do you see the Swift uh, position? Because you already have a couple of cars in your range which also overlap this car, the Frogs in terms of pricing and also the Preza somewhere, the top end of this car does overlap with the mid-spec version of that car. So where do you think is the big differentiator of this car and where do you think people uh, will come towards the Swift rather than go for compact SUV, which really are the rage? Ashish, uh, Swift comes in the premium hatch segment actually. In the last financial year, the premium hatch segment, I'm talking about the industry number, was close to 7 lakhs. And uh, our take is this, by 2030, the premium hatch will grow up to 1 million. So 1 million is a big number actually. And on the top of it actually, the Swift as a brand and the premium hatch, our market share is 62%. And there are many different, different set of customers to whom we need to cater to. So being a market leader, we feel that we are not ignoring the SUV segment. Last year we launched three models. At the same time, we feel it is very important that we need to have our presence in all segments actually. So the Swift which we have launched right now is a very iconic brand. This is the fourth generation Swift which we have launched equipped with the new Jet Series engine which is 1.2 litre engine. Best in the performance, best in terms of mileage, more greener engine. The mileage has gone up to the tune of 14% in the automatic transmission, 10% in the manual transmission. Now the results which has come is this that we have further improved our previous generation engine, the third generation, and now the mileage is close to 25.7 km per litre, as good as you can get it from any hybrid engines. Okay. And if you see the performance per se at lower RPMs, the torque is amazing. It gives a very rapid drive. Okay. And it's a greener engine now. We have reduced the CO2 emissions to the tune of 12%. Okay. On the top of it, not only the engine, you can see there are so many things which we have changed, not only the Swift DNA. Okay. Uh, so talking about this engine, the 1.2, it's really good in terms of the overall refinement, also in terms of fuel economy. Now at the launch, uh, your colleagues mentioned that this new engine will also be seen on some other cars uh, in the range uh, because this is going to be a new heart on a lot of cars. So can you just give us a small brief for other cars we'll see this engine next on? Because you have your entire range of 1.2s and that could be replaced with this new Z series. Obviously. We are saying it is a jet series engine, so if it is series means it will come in other engines also, other vehicles also. So right now our engineering team is working, so as in one, the appropriate time will come, we will surely share with you. Okay, so I think the desire will be the first one because it has the same platform and most probably the Franks and uh, some other cars because they share this engine and very popular cars in the range. Ashish, as in one, we come with something new, <laughs> okay. we will surely come back to you. So he's not revealing anything right now, guys. You'll have to wait and uh, you'll have to stay tuned for that. Uh, also, if you talk about the engine, you already have a 1-litre turbocharged uh, unit on the Franks, which is uh, selling in large numbers, I think. Is there any chance, because a lot of enthusiasts say that they want uh, that engine on this car, because that really is a very peppy performer. We have driven that car, and this car's characteristic is sporty. So can, in the future, maybe we expect that kind of an option as well on this car? Ashish, again, as I said that, uh this engine is also very peppy. I hope you have taken that test drive and you will also be appreciating that. Right. It's very peppy. There are many combination combinations. Okay. So this is one of the suggestions which you are giving. Okay. So our engineering team can surely examine it. Well, so he's not ruling that out as well. He's not answering completely, but in the answer you can read between the lines. It is uh, under consideration and might be something that enthusiasts who cater to it, they might see in the future. Well, Parthasan, talking about the numbers, last we've seen the best numbers in a long time for the industry. Uh, where do you see the challenges coming from, not only for the Swift, but other cars in the range and generally for the industry? What do you think expectations are and what do you think the big challenges lie ahead? Ashish, in India still the car penetration per thousand is at 32. And... Uh, we are expecting that the car penetration 1000 by 2030 should go to 44. Okay. And you know in the developed markets it is more than 600 per thousand. So even if it is 44 by 1000 which is our estimate, the auto industry will be 6 million. Okay. So there is a huge upside which we see. Yeah, in sh short term we should not be able to tell you the thing. But yes, we strongly believe that the auto industry is going to grow. Currently from 4.2 million, it's 
Well, so guys, there you heard it from uh, Parthu Sarn, who of course is leading Parthu Suzuki in terms of not only sales as well as marketing, but also with new products like uh, the Swift. And uh, thank you so for the interview. Thank you for your time and all the best for the sales of this car. It really is a fantastic car to drive. And guys, if you're in the market for a uh, hatchback, then definitely check this car. In fact, I would suggest uh, forget those compact SUVs because this car really has it all. And if you're primarily driving for the city and sometimes for the occasional highway trip, this is a great package. Thank you so once again. Thank you. Thank and you. we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you.